it's me, Alec the Inventor Girl. And as you can see, I have a huge box next to me. It is, I believe, two days after Christmas. And Christmas is not only a jackpot for presents, but can you also guess what a can, but can you also guess what Christmas is a jackpot for? That's right, boxes. So today we're going to create something that's like a survival pack in a box. And it will be themed after, can you guess what? If you guessed a coyote, that is correct. I have a book and one of the pages is on coyotes, so I will be reading some parts. Anyways, first, you are going to go ahead and lie up oh, wait. And I forgot to mention what materials you're going to need. You might want foam or paper, a sharpie, some scissors, a cup, glue, pencils, uh, props, clips. Maybe some brushes. Oh wait, and some other things I named. And at the end, I'll ex and at the end, I'll um exclaim these or oh, tell you about those. Anyways, um maybe some sticks for the tail. Well, perhaps put some rubber bands. And paper. You don't need a usual. Oh, and if you're using foam instead of glue, you could use a spray ball. Anyways, first, um, you might want to pause the video and get some sticks. Okay? And once you get your sticks, come back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, now that you are back. Um, take a rubber band if you have one. I think I mentioned that. Um, you might need rubber bands. And you're just going to tie it on the sticks. Hip. Round and round until you've used up the whole rubber band. There. <clears throat> See? And now this to lie your box on the ground and you are going to take some glue or tape and using glue and you're going to pour it in on the spot where you want to put the sticks and I want to put my sticks right there. Also pick which side you want to be the front and the back. Then you're going to put the glue or tape and put the sticks down and tape it or glue it. And if you're using glue, you might also put, I don't know to use some tape that you've got tape if you're going to take the tape bring up the sticks hold them in place and hit, tape it down and it never hurts to add a little extra tape To the sticks. There. Now you've got its tail. And now you're going to take that foam or paper that I mentioned and you're going to cut it into small rectangles. Then you're going to cut it into an even smaller rectangle and perhaps maybe even a square. And then you're going to label it. I'm going to use the blue one as water. Okay, there. 
Then you're going to draw an arrow and draw a just a box. Oh, and you might want to use blue paper for the water or whatever color you, you want it to be. And definitely use different colors for different ones. So, now that I have my water, I'm going to take my cup and I'm also going to cut a little piece. And you're going to take that piece, put it on the cup, you might want to use a plastic cup and definitely rinse it before using. And take some tape and I'm also kind of experimenting here with the water. Oops. Apparently it only works on cardboard, I guess. And you're going to add a line of it. Then put that line on yeah, that cup so that people know that the cup yeah, is for water. Then you're probably wondering, well, what are we going to do with these? Well, you're going to flip the box over, add some glue, and I'm also experimenting with the water. There. And you're going to put it on the back of the box. And now, then you're going to come up with ideas for these. Now, you might want to look at the color to help you pick. Blue should be for water, of course. But what can you do with all of these different colors? You're going to think about that. Then come, then I'm going to fast forward me thinking of ideas. Then we'll come back to meet, okay? And really try to think about what you might need to use these for, okay? If you want to make a leaf holder, I will show you how to. First, you're going to take this, cut up your paper from, and cut it into a square or a almost square. You're going to pick out two corners and bring them together. See? Like, oops, flat. And then you're going to put some tape or glue over it. I decided to use stick this time. And then on the inside, you're also going to do the same. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to thinking of some ideas. Okay. Okay, now that I've built everything, I'm going to show you. Here are two things. Here are some other things. Oh, and here, of course, the last one. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to do some fun stuff. If you're going to uh, take that some more paper. I'm using a huge 
all the paper so I got cut some. We don't need to though, don't we? <laughs> and you're going to take your scissors. Oh, it's out. And you, oh, well, only if you're using a big wall like me. Anyways, if you're not, you're going to take that Sharpie or pencil if you're using a pencil. You can either paint it or color it. And I think that I want to paint mine. Yes. So yeah, I'll show you it when I'm all done painting. Okay, now. You are going to cut out your head and add the eyes inside of the ears and nose. So yeah, you're going to put it in blue Or if you have some tape, you can tape it. So take the tape. Well, and you are going to tape. that you are done taking, we are now going to talk about the labels. You, as you can see, I did colors, shelter, heat, slash sun, leaves, water, and animals. And I did them in rainbow order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, or pink. And then, if you have that cup, you are going to take it and might want to use something that's waterproof. I trust me, I have no idea if foam is waterproof, but I'm just going to go with it. So you're going to take that cup, put whatever you're using over it. Might want to color it blue or use something blue. If an option, you don't have to. Like if you can't use blue pack plastic. <laughs> That's totally fine. And you're just going to tape it. But you're going to pick one side and just go like and you're going to put pick one side to be the front. Go like that and just put down. So then you can easily just boop, lift it up. Then you're going to finish taping. But tape and uh -uh. there. Now that you have your cup, you oops find the punch and you're going to like put it there. You can use 
glue is easy. Or you can take a long, 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 long strand of tape and whoops, tape over it, but try. But please try not to cover up this. And if you have no wood to put it, that's how it just go like that. Then take it, put it in place. Place that tape, or glue it, in the place. There! Then, as you can see, this is my leaf holder. I did fold this up and tape it. Anyways, you're going to take some glue, or tape, and glue, or tape. And you are going to glue or tape it. I am basically just going to be using tape. Take it, put it on the back, and then stick it on. If you are using tape, I suggest that you tape. Also tape it as in like a... Take a piece of tape, then tape the bottom there, as you can see, and tape it like that. And I think if, whoops, ah, hang on, there is enough room, you can or could <clears throat> take a strand of tape and tape it across there. Then you are going to do that to the rest of them. Okay? Oops. <laughs> okay? Okay, now that you just watched me place everything down, it's time for us to, um, how do I phrase this? Really get into it. Really do it. So, yeah. I'm going to show you some examples. You may have to come up with some, but if you followed exactly mine, I'm going to show you what you can do and you may have done some of mine but not all of mine anyways if you did shelter okay so we're going to go in order let's say if you did color which i did you would get some pieces of paper okay or if you didn't want to get pieces of paper hang on i'll show you Begin. You're going to go over and get color of the rainbow. All of the colors in the rainbow. Okay, see, now you have all of the colors in the rainbow, but you put, oops, hang on, but you're probably noticing, or <clears throat> but you probably noticed I don't have wood. Why is that? Well, that's because I used wood foam. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it so you can see. And you just watch me. And just watch what I do. See? So you're just going to draw little squares on the tape. Everybody see this. See? Okay, now I'm going to show you what my colors look like. Okay, now that everybody saw that, we're going to move on to shelter. 
Now you're probably thinking, <coughs> whoops. Now you're probably thinking, how in the world, if I were to fit a, fin a tent inside of that teensy tiny square? <sighs> well, we're not. But we are going to do something a little different, but it'll still work. Okay, not only do you have one, but you have two options. The first option is, well, depending on what you have. If you have, but you have a choice to see which one's easiest. Anyway, you can either get one big roll of paper and cut it, or get two pieces of paint paper and put them together. Anyways, what you're going to do is we're actually going to get fold it in half. Then we are going to fold it in half again. Okay? So you're basically just going to keep on folding until it um Well, what are we going to use to keep it up? Wait, I shall and will tell you at the end. And if you have a rubber band or basically anything to hold it together, so go ahead and uh, uh, and uh, grab that. Oops. Okay, I used a pin. And if it doesn't fit, that's okay. Just put it inside the box. There. Now we are going to do heat, which might be hard. But don't worry, we will get through this. <clears throat> now, here is what I want you to do. Hang on. There. I want you to get some long strip pieces of paper. One or two. One's totally just fine if one needs only one. But you can get two. And if you don't have an away cut out one strip, that's totally just that's totally fine. Just cut it out yourself. Thought you had in trouble. Now let's test it out. Put it on you. Then make sure it's long enough and wrap it around your arm and just keep it there and hug it. Does it get warmer? Anyways, <laughs> if you did do a shelter, well, if you did, that actually is kind of <laughs> lucky because you can take your heat, roll it up, so it's like this. Take a rubber band and cross it over and then put it in there and you can tape it in there too. Here, um, watch, I'm showing you. So, I'm going to tape this tape. You're probably wondering how I make it like into that. Well, I will show you. <clears throat> So first, you take a piece of tape, put it back, then pull it back, then roll it. Okay, now that I've shown you how to do that, do that and stick that on. Make sure it's on well. Okay, now we're going to do leaves and water, but the leaves and water you can do all by yourself. 
All you need to do for the leaves is to collect some leaves. And why don't, please wait. You don't want to be drinking. Yeah, yucky wall. Anyways, the animals, you don't have to do anything either. Because just like follow and point arrows in four directions. Okay? Okay, and we're almost to the end to not worry. Um, the last thing that I want to say is if you want to, you do not have to, but it's, it'll probably be fun and useful and helpful. Um, you can just stuff it up with um, things from nature because they can be helpful. What, you ask? For what? Well, if your box is big enough, you could add big rocks, which could be good seats if you clean them off. Moss can be good for cushioning things um let's see here sticks can be good for lots of things like campfires Ooh, roasty marshmallows who else here likes roasty marshmallows i do <laughs> and yeah tons of stuff like um on wednesday i believe my aunt and her boyfriend came over and we tried making paint out of rocks by mushing them up and adding water to them. And we also discovered that bulk can be used as paper. So yeah, those are just some options of what you can put in. So yeah, get creative. Oh, and if you'd like, you can even add some stick legs to it. Anyways, yeah. Oh, and if you do stick legs, um, if you don't, I mean, it's pretty hard to punch a hole through the box. So what you can do is you take your box, put the stick on the side, and tape it. Anyways, yeah. So that's how you make this invention. And I think, and here's the name of this invention. It's called the Coyote Adapto. Oh, Adaptable. <laughs> Anyways, that's how you make this pretty cool invention. So yeah, bye. Done.